this decade draft. So from 2010 to the end of 2019, we're trying to put together the best team individually. Um, we're going to basically draft in the best versions of each player from this decade. Once somebody is off the board, you cannot draft them, obviously. And we I will drafting. have the best We're team. drafting. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, I'm going to take the small forward out of St. Vincent St. Mary. Um, and I'm getting heat version. I'm get, well, I'm getting Heat version. Uh-huh. I'm getting like Cleveland, Cleveland Cavalier. Version. You're getting and current getting Laker. Laker. Yeah, that's so, a, obviously the best player of the decade. Best player this decade. So I got the second pick, and this is a no-brainer too. <clears throat> I'm going with Kevin Durant. Come on now. I always number two. He's there. I got to go with the guy who has proven that he can beat both of those guys <laughs> in the playoffs, and I'm going Steph Curry. Stephen Curry is off the board. Third overall pick. took my pick. That was your well, pick? I, that was who I, I remember, But if you had your pick. No, nah, I have my pick. Okay. I got to go with the club. Kawhi Leonard. So that's a very interesting play, if you ask me, because obviously he's been good for a couple, not a couple years now. He's been good for like what five years now? Yeah, yeah. about half the decade. About half the decade. Mm-hmm. What well, makes he's been great the last yeah. two right, or three? Exactly. I'm gonna take the Chris Paul away from my you second. You motherfucker! <laughs> you motherfucker! I'm taking Chris Paul. Oh my god, bro! And you remember before that's the show started, start but you gotta wait out because Derek is on the clock now. Tell me who you think and what what's going through your brain. I gotta your, go. I gotta go with Flash. D Wade. D Dwayne Wade. So yes. Dwayne Wade has what two championships this decade? Yep. Obviously, was an All Star pretty much every single year that he played. Would y'all say Dwayne Wade's prime was in this decade? Mm, no, yeah, no, no, I wouldn't uh, say that. No, they were once teammates. James Harden. We bringing them back. James Harden is going to be my starting shooting guard on my team. It's going to. And be, you got two back to back. Yeah, that in mind. I'm going to pick Clay Thompson. Clay oh, my that's an early pick, yeah. but he's such a valuable player. What a guy that. Um, Please don't take my guy. <laughs> I'm gonna be so. I'm mad. probably not gonna take your okay. guy, but I'm gonna go with a guy that had his breakout against LeBron James. Okay. Which is Paul George. Okay. Um, good another good, another guy that can shoot the ball. I'm going to draft Dwight Howard to be my man in the middle. Like Dwight fucking Howard. So that's my center that's getting those, them lobs. I got the man that can catch lobs, give me 40, everything. I got Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis is off the board. So t- I think I got to bring this duo back together. Okay. I'm, in, I'm drafting Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin and Chris Paul back together. Get him off my my board because Blake Griffin is. Gone. I'm taking Tim Duncan with my. Tim. I'm taking them Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan won a championship this decade. It for may sure. be a little early, but I feel like I'm a snake. Hold on, I'm looking at his numbers real quick. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's not oh yeah, but I just know oh yeah <laughs> that this guy fits perfect with my team right now, and I'm going Iggy. Iggy, I think that's an early ass pick for for Iggy. I want him to be in my. He's gonna. I'm glad he got him. I'm glad you got him too, cause, cause he's gonna get somebody else. Cause he, he damn sure ain't one on my list at this point. No. Tell me your reasoning behind Iggy. The second half, remember, it's just this decade. We ain't, he was one one time All Star, I'm pretty sure, in um 2012. But yeah. he's, he's got his Finals MVP. I need a guy MVP. that can really guard wings, can help me make big shots at big time moments, and he's just a guy that's not gonna really take the ball out of Steph and Dwayne Wade's hands. And you got some chemistry with him and Steph. Yep. Yeah. Everything's gonna work. That's a perfect pick, I think. So, so he, start, he started for you. Yes. Okay. So what's your team so far? Steph, D Wade, Iggy, and Anthony Davis. Oh. Steph, Dwayne Wade, reason, Iggy, and Anthony only, Davis. I, I, I'm not saying nobody saying it's a bad pick. You just said it was early because you still have oh, guys yeah. like Jimmy Butler on there. Um, you have Kobe. Yeah. You know I mean, just some other guys. But hey, you, you I thought about Kobe, but I was just like, I don't want him playing my three. Right here, out the way. Uh, I'm going Damian Lillard. Oh, I'm gonna go with Damian Lillard here. Um, so it's on me. It's on you. Um, you know, we talk about this decade. I- I'm gonna take Kevin Love, a guy, a guy that's played Damn. with LeBron, a guy at the beginning of this decade averaged 20 and 15 on 41 percent shooting. We need a pick in two, one. I'm gonna take another guy that LeBron played with. <laughs> and I'm going to put him at the center position. That's going to be Chris Bosh. So I just filled out my star lineup, and we're going to have LeBron, Clay, <clears throat> Paul George, Kevin Love, and Chris Bosh. That's a rebound. All right. I don't know how this man is still on the board. Maybe because he's not a, he doesn't space that great. It's Giannis. Giannis is my pick right now to run my power forward position. Thought about it, but I felt like he didn't fit my team. What, bro? He has Stephen Curry on his team, yeah. and he didn't think Giannis would fit. That's why. That's like one of the I didn't want, but, You drafted but him Iggy, Iggy over Giannis, but him and Iggy. Yeah, I didn't. Iggy can come hey, off the bench. Hey, if we keep him in the buck, hold on. Let me let the me look at Andre Iguodala the numbers. With Iggy and Giannis is the same. Iggy's not as. I was about to say. I'm I just believe, saying pairing them together. Pairing who together? Iggy and Giannis. 
The, uh, you don't have to. When you get Giannis, you don't need it. Because, listen, the way I'm thinking about it, I don't know who my sixth man is going to be just yet, um, but there's going to be lineups where Giannis is running center for us when it's mm-hmm. him, Kevin Durant, James Harden, Damian Lillard, and somebody else who I'm about to draft next round. Like, just because this is my starting five don't mean it's my closing five because Giannis right. is big enough, Kevin Durant is big enough, and they're I both I feel you, but that well. starting five is a little fucked. I mean, like that, yeah. I know who my next guy is. And it's your pick, so go ahead, throw it out there. Carmelo Anthony. Carmelo Anthony is That's off the right. board. You, yo, Wait, who you took Melo? No, no, no I'm telling you. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Look, he was Carmelo Anthony is off the board now. Scoring. Right. Uh, my starting shooting guard, because that's the spot I'm missing my starting lineup. I'm taking Kyle Korver. Kyle Korver? <laughs> Cal Corver? He Cal going for a space and shit. I need, I need somebody who he don't He wasn't on my list, but... He didn't even make my damn list. I have 50 players here. He was not one of them. Kobe's still on the board. Kobe, Kobe not. Kobe not going to work with my team. Bro. So you're looking for spacing. Okay, yeah, that's fine. You're looking for spacing. I'm looking for people that want to fit my team. So you're looking for specialists. Cal Corver, yeah. But I was thinking... You probably got him in the twelfth round because I don't know <laughs> my list. I, mean, he I know, but list, I don't know. I feel like list. it's just it makes me easier to structure my team if I already have players that are already planned out. Mm. I mean, if I'm looking I mean, at it's my twelfth man, it's yeah, your team. the players, it's a lot of players that's going to be on the board. Sure, I, it's my pick again, right? You're back to back. I got Draymond it. Green. I got Draymond Green Kyle is Kyle off Kyle. the board. Draymond Green's a great pick. I thought about him before Giannis too. Honestly, is that a guy I've ever seen? Nope, I got one better. <laughs> okay, Joe Kim Noah. That's I was hoping I could get him in like the 10th round. <laughs> I was hoping I could get him in the 10th round. But Essex guy is going to be technically my sixth man, but he's going to be running a lot with the starters. Again, I told you about potentially running Giannis at center, Kevin Durant at power forward, Jimmy Butler at small forward, and That's then James Harden pick. and Damian Lillard. That is a great I think pick. Jimmy Butler has been a very underrated player this decade. Uh, another guy that played with LeBron James. And, Damn. You know, a guy that... <laughs> <laughs> A, a guy that is going to be my sixth man because that's what he wants oh, to do. You, mm, that's who I had next. Kyrie to. Irving. God. He's going to come off my bench and give us scoring. Oh, he, man. We're going to let Kyrie be Kyrie. He doesn't have the 10th round or ninth round. I'm going to draft his ass yeah. because he's too damn good to be that low. Right. My next pick is going to be DeMarcus <clears throat> Cousins, a uh, two time All NBA player, four time All NBA He's similar to Giannis, where like his accolades are like the last two to three years is when he hits stardom. Mm-hmm. I'm going to call Jokic. Okay. Nikola Jokic is going to be my pick to come off my bench and be my, my backup center. I like because, it. Yep. Can, you have, I'm going to go with Kobe. Kobe. Because I feel like he could definitely play in my starting lineup as well. Mm-hmm. If, All right, I'm about to draft my sixth man, and I need instant offense off the bench. Yep. So I'm picking Kemba Walker. Ooh. He might be coming off the bench. I think I'm going to draft Marcus Saul and have him start. I like that. I like Marcus Saul because even right now. Facts. I like that pick. Derek, you're back on the clock. Yes. Fucking Paul Pierce. Let me, okay. I know the best way to do this research. To be honest, I think my small forward off the bench is going to be Danny Granger. Danny Granger? Oh, wait. Hold he was on. A 20, hold he was a 24-point score. What the fuck? At the hold on. Hold on. Hold he was still on. a 24-point score, and then after that, he was 20. No, he wasn't. Does that count? That's 2009. That's 2009. That's 2009. Half of that season is in the, in the previous year. That's not this decade. This decade is two, 2010. So you got the 2010 version, he which he, he's averaging 20, which is still decent. That was his last healthy year, too, because after that, he played 62 games, 5 games, 41, 29. So you were looking for, like, a wing player that can help you score? Yeah. Okay. Or, oh, man. Danny so, Granger? Danny Granger's a wild pick, if you ask me. That is wild. <laughs> Danny Granger? Even if you was getting a 24-point one, that's still a wild pick. Danny Granger? <laughs> um, Scores. I think I'm going with Bradley Beal. I think Bradley Beal is going to come off my bench and be um, some offense. Let me take him off my bench. I'm taking him. Okay. I'm going to take um, Mono Ginobili. Mono, Mono Ginobili, Ginobili is off the won board. a championship, okay. six man of the year award this decade. I got a guard in mind. Because I could. Because I don't. And all honestly, I think in my second unit, I could have Kobe be the ball dominant guard. And this guy can also handle the ball. And both of them, I feel like, can play well off the ball. So. Now I'm interested. Who, you, watch, who, who is it? Jeff T? That's, yeah. that's a Derek Miller pick. No. 20 seconds left for your pick, P. I'm interested. I really wish I could cut Danny Granger. Um. <laughs> Already <laughs> there. <laughs> he just picked him. <laughs> just picked his ass up. Give me Dirk. Dirk. No, 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 no. Ooh. Let me use the last 10 seconds just to clarify. Give me LaMarcus Aldridge. LaMarcus Aldridge is a good pick. He's definitely one of the next guys on the list to go. My ninth pick. 
He's a still on the board. I'm going with Russell Westbrook. I'm going to draft him right here, right now. NBA, NBA um, MVP. We got James Harden. We got Russell Westbrook. And we might get that fourth dude, too, if he's still up there in the 12th round. Maybe. Derek, you're on the board. All right. This guy's been, uh, I think it's one, two, three, four All-Stars this decade. Okay. Uh, I'm going ISO Joe. Oh, was yeah, that, that's, that what that's what I was thinking about. That's what I was thinking about. That's what I thought you were too. thinking about, yeah. too. A little bit. That's not a bad pick. He's definitely one of the wing players that I forgot about, but I did add him. Um, I Mike, definitely forgot about him. You got back-to-back. I'm picking another six-man light dude. Okay. Jay Cross. Kemba Walker and Jay Cross are coming off. They finna like light whoever is on the court. Uh, and guess what? Whoever they gonna on the court gonna light their ass up. I'm going to go somewhere. This is a wild pick. But he fits Take your my time, team. Mike. Don't no. go wild, bro. <laughs> no, he, let him go he wild. He fits shit. exactly what I need. He fits exactly what I need. Nice three and D. He don't got to do nothing. I'm picking Trevor Ariza. You know what? Okay. Well, he's yeah. been well coming off your bench is not for bad. three okay. and D. He's been consistent as they come. But now, Derek, you're on the board and talk me through your your mind because I need to do some research. My damn what's self. What's your team looking like, Derek? All right. So the starter: Steph, D Wade, Iggy, Melo, AD. Then I got Noah, Kobe. Danny G and Joe Johnson off the oh, bench. Oh, yeah, you got to worry about Joe's here. <laughs> <laughs> you picked up Danny Granger. That's crazy to me. I wouldn't, I would have literally never thought about it. I would have thought, thought about Danny. Him. True. Like, I, I throw one out because I don't care if you take him. Right. Like Victor Oladipo. I would take Victor Oladipo this decade over Danny Granger. That's not a bad pick. It Actually, <clears throat> I'm going to put Noah and Zach Randolph together. Your team is too. Yo, this is like you trying to build an MMA team. <laughs> <laughs> Those are three guys. Those are two guys that Kobe would love to play with. Noah and Zach Randolph because they just work hard. <laughs> he he going to hate it when they in his way when he on a post. <laughs> they have nowhere to go. So that was That's fine. But he don't love them though because they just going to get the rebound. True. <laughs> I'm, on the, I'm on the board. Derek, you are funny, bro. I got to look at this player. I don't want to draft this dude, but he's a wing player. Don't. Off the board, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I just didn't get him off my list. You know what? I'm going Al Horford here. Uh, Al Horford is small enough that he can run my four. I don't. I no, actually, I don't I'm sorry. Him. Dirk is on the board. Oh, you didn't take him. So you him. can go back. You can go back because I did take LA. I'm right, because you I, you said it and then you went yeah, back. Yeah, okay, so okay, I'm okay. sorry for that misunderstanding. But I, I can't cut Danny Granger. No, because you. Oh hell no! That was all on you. Yeah, you you didn't even say that. You didn't, you said that three picks after. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't say it at the moment. Like oh hell no! You so said that three so picks. if that's the case, I will I will take Dirk over Al Horford. So Al Horford is still on the board. Al Horford okay. is still on the board. A type thing for him. He doesn't jump off the page at you. But I think when you talk about sound basketball players, you can put in a, in a situation. He can kind of fit almost anything. I'm gonna go with Gordon Hayward. Uh, I thought about it. He crossed my mind. One time All Star. You took Russell Westbrook. Um, Russell on. Westbrook is off the board. Um, give me a guy. Give me the youngest MVP of all time. Give me Derrick Rose. That's a good pick. Um, I have my team guard can be my defending point guard. Rajon Rondo. I'm going with Cal Lowry. Okay, Cal Lowry. Okay, good pick. Cal Lowry's going to be my eleventh man here. It might be late, but I feel like he can definitely start again. Tony Parker start still in there. next yeah, to thanks. Anthony Davis, and they wouldn't. It wouldn't be a problem. I'm going to go Carl Anthony Towns. I feel like he's really been hooping this decade. He legitimately set his phone down. There, there's a word like these are your 11th and 12th men, so they may not even touch the floor for you on a lot of the nights. Give me JJ Reddick. So you got Cal Corver and JJ. That would have been such a better pick when than, than Cal Corver. Yeah. He's. I think he's a better fit than Cal Corver too. Honestly, no, maybe this not year. missing no playoffs. Um, but you got back to back though, so you got to keep thinking because you got one more one more spot on your squad. Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond. That's a specialist. That is 100 percent a specialist. He Mills. Your very last pick of this decade draft. This is a young man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's extremely talented. Uh-huh. And Steph has ankle I- issues. That's and I feel like this is a guy who can come in, play, make, handle the ball, score, just like Steph would do. I'm going Luca. I knew he was going with Luca. <laughs> Bro, he's played a he's year. Played, he's played a year and a half. You're taking he, him over John Wall? He's never played in the playoffs. John he's Wall, Mike good. Conley, Steve Nash, Darren Williams, Jason Kidd. Hypothetically, knock on wood, but he can twist his ankle tomorrow and never be the same. He's still good. <laughs> he's still that good. The that, player, the player that we've seen, the player that we've seen this decade is very good. We've seen we nothing. Think a year, year and a half. We've seen nothing. 
He ain't seen nothing really. I mean, he's been great, but I'm saying you you saying this decade. Like, I mean, yeah, but the, the, the year and a half. <laughs> right. you've seen, Trey Young, if you trying to get somebody like Steph Curry, you might as well pick up James Wiseman. Shit, <laughs> just keep just going, get younger and younger and younger. What we've seen he from the mellow. The <laughs> what we seen from the mellow. <laughs> that hundred million dollar contract that he got offered tells me that he's the next big star. My last pick, I'm going defensive specialist, two time defensive player of the year, back to back. We're going Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert is going to be my very last pick. May not even touch the floor for us, but I know. But no, it's only right that we close out our team with a 7 3 monster, a guy that, you know, has been an all star this decade, can block some shots, can shoot some threes. Um, and I'm going to go with Sir Psych. Uh, let me get let me get Chris Stapps for Zingas, though. I'll take Chris Stapps for the radio. Coaches. So actually, you get one more pick. You get to pick the first coach. Mm -hmm. Shit, we're gonna go with the mold. Give me Eric. uh, Give me, give me Eric Spolstra. That's another guy that's been with LeBron. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, that you like Rich Paul out here. Uh, Eric Spolstra can deal with. I don't think Greg Popovich would have been able to do. That's that's a good that's a good point. That's why my pick is a guy that has. Only coach stack teams in his Steve NBA Curry. coaching career. I know he's laid back. He ain't saying shit on the bench. He gonna let the, the players pick the plays. He gonna let the players do what they want. That is Steve Kerr. Also, Ooh. Steve Kerr's actually a good coach, as we saw this season, because they're winning games, even though they're god ass off on paper. Steve Kerr is my is my pick. Is it me? It's on you. Uh, I'm going Doc. I got Doc Rivers. <laughs> Tom Thibodeau. Yo, starters with a steal and playing 50 minutes. <laughs> Superstars <laughs> off the bench. Last pick of the coach. I got to go with Greg Popovich. Yeah, I'm glad you did because he put deserves him. to be a coach. Yeah, no. I, I was surprised that he actually failed. To- and they still had success. Yeah. So we're going to take one last break. We're going to talk about our teams. Um, mm-hmm. we're gonna, I'm going to ask each one of y'all who has the best team that you can't pick yourself. Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll, well see. I what... would need to hit a roster. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're going to yeah. go through everything for the people at home that haven't been really paying that much attention. So we'll be right back. Okay. So this is how we're going to do things. I'm going to give every person one minute to pitch to me their team and why their team is the best. Okay? Who wants to go first? Anybody want to volunteer? Draft order. Um, so, yeah, go ahead, P. You got one minute. Um, I just think that my team is, is everything that you want. Wait, actually, let's restart that. You tell me your roster, then I'll start the timer, and you tell me why it's good. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, point guard, LeBron James. Shooting guard, Clay Thompson. Small forward, Paul George. Power forward, Kevin Love. Uh, center, Chris Bosh. Um, six man Kyrie Irving. Then we have Demarcus Cousins, Manu Ginobili, Lamarcus Aldridge, Gordon Hayward, Derrick Rose, and Chris Um I, I like my team just because we have everything I think you want. We have a uh, big man that can protect the rim. We have big man that can space. We have guards that can switch and wings that can switch on the perimeter. And we got guys that can give you buckets in many different ways. We had a floor general like LeBron James. I, I think any team that's led by LeBron James with the pieces that he he needs and he likes that fits him is an unstoppable team. We've seen that. He damn near brought that old-ass Cavalier team uh, to, to winning in Oracle in game one when the pieces barely fit him. So, I mean, you give him pieces that he wants and other superstar players and you give everybody a role – on a LeBron James team is good. And you know, you Clay Thompson, you're going to shoot and defend. Paul George, you're going to score and defend. Chris Bosh, you're going to score and defend and space the floor. You give everybody a clear cut role. Kyrie, you can be you and score. It's clear. And then we have Eric Spolster, who's de- dealt with all star uh, headed teams. Uh, he's also dealt with teams that wasn't as special as those teams and still has success with them, which proves that he can coach. And he's a championship coach. Ex- so. ex- that was exactly one minute. Good team, if you ask me. All right, so. My team is Kevin Durant. Oh, wait, let's go in order. Point guard, Damian Lillard. Shooting guard, James Harden. Small four, Kevin Durant. Power four, Giannis, Dwight Howard Center. But again, start fat can, can vary. Jimmy Butler, Nikola Jokic, Bradley Beal, Russell Westbrook, Dirk. Then our last two roster spots are Kyle Lowry and Rudy Gobert. And then we have Steve Kerr as our coach. Now, the reason why I like my team so much is because we have the OK3 OK core, mm-hmm. right? We have the three guys that when they were as young as can be, James Harden Beer weren't even full yet, got all the way to a championship and battled against one of the greatest teams in NBA history. We got those three dudes together, but now they're in their goddamn prime. We got so many, champ- so many MVPs between these dudes, we can't even count them. And not to mention Giannis is an MVP now. You know what I'm saying? We got defensive player of the years, and then we have like off-court leaders and like Jimmy Butler. We got guys that can give you buckets like Bradley Beal, and we got old-ass Dirk who may not play a single minute, but we know he's a good locker room guy, and he knows what it takes to beat LeBron James. That's the reason why my team is the best. All right, so coach, Doc Rivers, I got Steph at the one, D-Wade at the two, 
Iggy at the three, Melo at the four, and then I got Anthony Davis at the five. <laughs> Bro, I, time final, time out. As you were reading your team, I looked at both of them, and like as you were reading, Mike was like, "Wait, what the fuck?" Because <laughs> I don't know. It's just that the, the D weight to Iggy Iggy dollar kind of threw me up. off. Yeah. We packing the paint on your team, my guy. Well, can keep it going. Wait, why would you pack the paint? We gonna Iggy and we gonna box in one. We gonna box in one step. We gonna box in the playoffs. I got Melo and Anthony Davis. We're good. I just seen Melo play. <laughs> yeah, but you know, know, but, but it's prime I'm Melo. We talking about prime New York Nick Melo. So oh, yeah, that's, that's different. So. Uh, yeah. He's an ISO guy though. How do yeah. you ISO with Iggy? Let him finish. Let him finish. Yeah, yeah he, he'll get the job done. Um, no, fuck you, won't. <laughs> Noah. <laughs> Joke him, Noah. Kobe, Danny, Joe Johnson. Danny Green? No, Danny Green. Danny Green. Danny Green would have been a lot better. Honestly, Danny Green was on my list. Yeah, he was on. He was on my list too. I mean, Zach Randolph, I got Cat, and I got Luca. I forgot you drafted Zebo too. Okay, tell me why so, you have the best team at the table. Like y'all was arguing that Melo's the ISO guy, I could put Cat in at that fourth spot, and then I got a, the twin towers of Cat and Anthony Davis, and I got Iggy, D Wade stuff. You're not going to sag off Cat. You would put Cat at the four instead of Anthony Davis at the four? You know, you could, put both, like you, could, you could put both of them in the, on the same court at the same time. And then um, I got Kobe off the bench. We already know what he brings to the table. We got D Wade. Steph is a unanimous MVP. I got three guys on this team that have won MVP. They know what to win, and I got a championship coach in Doc Rivers. And then I also got a guy who's 22, arguably 22. one of the best players in the league this year, and Luka Doncic. Hasn't made an all-star team. All right. Mike, tell us your roster <laughs> and tell us why your team is the best. Okay, so I got my coach is Greg Popovich. My point guard is Chris Paul. Shooting guard is Kyle Korver. My three is Kawhi. My four is Blake Griffin. My center is Marcus Saul. Off the bench, we got Tim Duncan, Kemba Walker, Jamal, Craw- Jamal Crawford, Draymond Green, Trevor Reza, J.J. Redick, and Andre Drummond. You got a very underrated team. I was liking your team, and then some, some shit threw me off. But I, I do no, like I, your team, though. I, I like know, that you I have told your you, I, I really was trying to bank in on coming off Steph Curry. That's what I was saying. That's what I was like. I'm glad I only got the first pick. <laughs> yeah. I picked up Chris Paul. And from that, I knew my offense was going to be like, yeah, they're going to be more... It. They're going to be more like sets, especially because all everybody drafted very good defenders. So I'm mm-hmm. not expecting everybody to go ISO somebody and go get a bucket. Right. So we're going to be running mostly through like elbows and posts with Blake Griffin, Marcus Saul, and Kawaka post up too. Chris Paul is going to orchestrate everything, and then Kyle Korver is moving around all over the court. That's just a starting five. Then when we do need more offense, we got Kemba Walker and Jamal Crawford to come off the bench and create shots. Draymond Green, Trevor Reza, those guys are just plug coming in, and they can be plugged into multiple spots for defense and I guess a little bit of offense too in certain areas. And Andre Drummond is my rebound specialist, and JJ Reddick, we all know what JJ Reddick can do. So, in all honesty, is everybody f- happy with their team? Do you I legitimately no. think you have the best team at the no, table? No, I, I really feel like if we had a list of all the pool pl- or the pool of players, and we could just see him come off the board, and we could see, oh, he's still up there. Because mm-hmm. a lot of times you might I hear thought a that's name. What y'all, I thought that's. I what had a big ass yeah, pool. Me too. I thought that's what everybody was doing while we pre- we prepared for this like two weeks ago. We knew we was doing this since damn near. Christmas. Yeah, but I also you always don't know who's still gonna be up there. Right, that's why you make you the pool of players. <laughs> I guess. Because I thought that's what everybody was doing. Because he he even asked, like, wait, how many players are we mm-hmm. doing? Like, three mm-hmm. days ago. Like, mm-hmm. it's 12, right? So, I'm thinking he's doing that while creating a pool of players. No, mm-hmm. I did as just drafted first LeBron, <laughs> second Kevin Durant. <laughs> <laughs> like, so those players wouldn't even be that, – to think that that would be even possible is just wild. So, the way I did things, so there was going to so be 48. going to have the mm-hmm. first 12 picks. <laughs> <laughs> I d- that sounds like you didn't think it was going to be a draft. We were just trying to build the best team regardless and let the fans decide, right? I thought we were just like legitimately coming out here and just ranking oh, the top like 12 players. Oh, like, yeah. you're all decade. Yeah. yeah. Go talk. Yeah. Go talk. Yeah. Go talk, my nigga. It's go talk. Go talk. Go talk. Go talk, my nigga. That's go talk. Go talk. Go talk. Go talk, my nigga, is go talk. Go talk, go talk, go talk, my nigga, is go talk.